Ow. It's zero time. Lightning get. Kind of a pain to jump with that thing going. You don't want the sandy popsicle? <laughs> the sandy popsicle is something I can do without. Got a style on that cactus. Bonk his nose. Boop. Boop. Boop the snoot. Got your nose. Alright. And, uh, that's probably the beginning of the next episode, so... Yeah. Hi. I am Evan, the tall twin. And my name is Kate, I am the small twin. And welcome to another episode of Twins Play. We're playing Kirby 64 Crystal Shards. And we've got some priceless ancient ruins to... Blunder. I was going to go with Desecrate, but that works too. <laughs> you make it sound so... so hateful. Alright, we'll start with lightning, see where that takes us. Kirby the heretic. What? Messing up your ruins. Alright, lightning rod it is. Oh, there's a friend. Let's jump in there. Friend, look at it. Yeah. Are those things well, ears or arms? Now. Do you think? Which? Uh, the little like flying kitty cat boos. No. Are those little things on their head ears or arms? Uh, I think they're arms. Yeah. And I. They're like just waving their, waving their arms around. Yeah. Over yeah. their head all the time. They're sort of flapping. Oh, so they're like wings. Or maybe... I mean, they're not very effective wings, but yeah, that was sort of what I was thinking. Or they could have some sort of they're purpose just... of, like, stabilizing him in the air. They're just doing Kirby's, like, hi, uh, uh, taunt. He does look quite Kirby-like in, in many ways. He's just orange. We get to live. Yeah, you're right. I think it's some sort of air stabilizing feature. Like those little, uh. Those little, like, proto wings that, you know, flies have, where instead of two pairs of wings. They've got, like, a pair of stabilizers. And yeah, a pair they of got wings. one pair of wings and one pair of just, like, little. Kind of like little stick balls. Like little maracas. I think there was a shard in here somewhere. I don't remember what I needed for it, though. One up. It's one of those mummy guys. They look a lot more ow. Metallic. I think I need to go in here. Probably. Ow. Okay. Apparently you needed to get stabbed and fall down a hole. Yeah, well I mean, whatever works. <laughs> I should uh, yeah. stop sucking at a game made for like eight year olds. Tiny children. Well, huh. we, we've all got a tiny child inside of us. <laughs> Is he, like, trying to get out? <laughs> That's, I mean... <laughs> it's the same... It's the, uh, it's the same tiny child in each of us. And he was just cursed. A thousand years ago to be... Trapped in the bodies <laughs> of adults? Yeah. To be forever imprisoned. Do you, it's it's the sort of thing where it, you know, sometimes it's like, oh, it's my it's my turn for the tiny child. Do do you think that's like an honor, or are we like trying to? Or is it a burden? <laughs> yeah, it's a burden. <laughs> it's like, oh no, I have to. Uh, I have to be the vessel for the tiny child this time. It's a vessel week for me. Oh. I'm gonna take this week off. The worst, the worst way to die in a Kirby game. I mean, it's cutter. It's a, it's a cutter kappa. Oh, is that a kappa? I mean, it must be, right? He, he does look kind of kappa-like. Oh, it's fine if you just don't touch it. Right? I always thought he was like a little bird or something, and he also kind of has a like um. That would suck. He has a bit of a, like a Greek, sort of. But you know, like, like the bald spot is really telling. 
Well, to me it looks like he's like a Greek dude and he's wearing like the olive leaves around his head. Okay. I mean, <laughs> it's pretty obviously a kappa though. I mean, now that you say that, I can I can see it. I can see it being a kappa. Take the elevator up. Uh, no. <laughs> all right. Elevator scary. Scary elevator. All right, that's fine. You're just gonna be a little puss about it. What's the? Oh, are there are there no bosses on me? Oh, I forgot about those things. Little frosty guys. Okay, if I see another one, I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna eat it. Oh, is it time to light my head on fire? <laughs> I think it's time to light my head on fire. Let's do this. Ah! Hey, rude! I'm trying to. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> you have this certain warm-up period where you gotta. Ah! <laughs> yeah, boy. Ah. Well, that, that was, was sort of disappointing. <laughs> yeah. That, that was. Uh, I didn't know he was gonna just pop after like a second. I love the DDD sections. Except for the one on the Shiver Star. That one is kind of stressful. Oh, <laughs> because you are you are not the man with the biggest hammer? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> also because Shiver Star is kind of traumatic just in general. Yeah. Uh, I mean Pop Star is quite charming. And then even this world is you're exploring some ruins, but it's like ruins full of happy little creatures. There's nothing inherently scary about it. But by the time you get to Shiver Star, uh. it's just depressing. I mean, I am sort of breaking down ro walls in these ancient ruins, so... You're disturbing their nap. <laughs> oh, you're right, I am. <laughs> Sorry. Ah! I didn't do that. <laughs> oh, he saw what you were gonna do. He was like, bitch, you thought? I don't think so. It's too spicy for me. Oh, Beware the spicy boys. Didn't need that wall anyway. Sleepy spicy boys. So I'm assuming there's not a second crystal star in here, so we can... I just say Crystal Star. We're not playing Thousand Year Door. I guess I got a tomato. Kirby likes a tomato. He likes a, a good tomato. Uh, good for Kirby. I mean, I'm not much of a tomato fan myself, but... I feel like this was one of the only levels with a power that you can't obtain in the level. But uh, that's probably that for that episode. How how long? No, we're still. We're we're still good. Okay. We still got stuff to do. I'm spiky. No. No. Denied. Actually, okay. Never mind that. <laughs> to chew. You got me. I think that you wanted to be fiery spiky. Yeah, and then I was like, wait, no, I don't. Yeah, because in this one you need rock. You can't get rock until you reach an impassable ow, part of this level. I'm pretty sure the orange guys are just... They're just normal guys. Yeah, see, I don't think you can go back up that ant lion nest. No, yeah, I don't think so. So I'm just going to go back and get rock. Uh, it's probably rock at the beginning of this level. Have no mercy. Kirby the Terminator. The small pink Terminator. Striding purposefully through the dunes. There he is, old bouncy boy. Get in my belly! Alright, let's do let's try that again. Oh god. 
absolute unit. <laughs> well, not my weakness. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> a, a slight slope. <laughs> a gentle slope. <laughs> oh man, I barely made it up that one. Blam. Blamo. Accurate. Okay. So, so what do you think is the story with this planet? Mm, well, it looks like it's got big dino skeletons on it. Yeah. This... And a bunch of coral, looks like. Yeah, this... This map looks... it does have a quite a, a sort of underwater look to it. Except like, for the water part. Yeah, there's no water, but the sand... it kind of looks... Very fine. Well, it's got this sort of pattern in it, like it's full of, like, shells or something. And there's, you know, the corals. And the, just the color is quite blue and, and, you know, like you're underwater. Oh, I fucked up. Oh no, you went down the wrong hole! After all that work to get the other crystal star. Can I? I'm gonna try. Going back up? I don't think you can. Oh, I'm in. I was wrong. I was just straight wrong. <laughs> okay, buddy. What? Oh, there's a boss on this hole. So if you fight the boss, you get the reward. Ugh. I hope I didn't need Cutter for something. Stop. Squish him. Those, those like finger puppets. <laughs> they do look like fingers. Look an awful lot like the uh, townsfolk in uh, the Kirby TV show. Oh yeah. Yeah, some of the townsfolk were kind of... Specifically, I think the chef looked like that. Chef Kurosaki or whatever. And, Oops. like, maybe also the mayor. I mean, Kirby's, like, little... Like, the kids didn't really look like that. They, they you know, had, like, faces and limbs and stuff. It's a pretty color combo. Oh. <laughs> Here's the water. Okay. Gotta be... Gotta style on these enemies. My sweet... Sweet competitive figure skating technique. I like the aesthetic of this, uh... This world. Just water and white sand. Coral and bones. Kirby swim. Man, I'm, I'm looking forward to doing the, the later Kirby games, and getting getting my little, my little dinghy. The, the little inner tube, rather. Oh, yeah. Kirby in an inner tube is... That's the good shit. That's peak cute. You know... A star in like this zone or a crystal shard? Uh, One of these holes or something? I think there might have been. Maybe. I'm gonna go back just just to check. There might have been one like below the, the doorway. <laughs> Look at his slow little waddle. <laughs> Run! <laughs> Run! Uh, no, I don't think yeah, there's no. anything down there. No, I oh, think maybe it's this like... will be faster. Oh, yeah, that's better. Is it, though? Marginally? Ah! What the hell is that? Why did it turn red? <laughs> Good question. Yeah, I think weird it's, like, thing. above the, the door. A weird feature of this, uh of this game compared to other Kirby games is that you c 
can even use your powers at all while you're underwater. Yeah, I think if you keep going up. Yeah, that sounds right. Alright, time for the best boss in this game. Next time, though. Right. Yeah, I got it. Alright, see you guys later. Later.